This tutorial is part of a YouTube playlist. You can access this and many more of the tutorials in this course. If you do like this YouTube playlist and you want to access the whole course, you can do on Udemy. The link to the YouTube playlist and YouTube course is in the video description. At least at the moment, this project is a very small API project, so I prefer a minimalistic approach. We have included so many layers so far in this project. I wanted to simplify this process and API Ferry does exactly that. So API Ferry is a minimalistic API framework built on top of Flask and Marshmallow. It's going to help us quickly and easily create RESTful APIs in our Python application without getting bogged down too much with the complexity of this step that we're using it for. We're going to be utilizing it to link schemas to our endpoints. So we've created our blueprint. So this is our blueprint. We've defined the URL and the methods associated to this endpoint. So assuming that is matched or a match is made from a client request, then at the moment we're running this function. But what we need to do is we want to run a query and return data from the category. When we return data, we will then want to pass that through our schema. So we're going to use API Ferry to um, automate that process for us. And we do that by using the API Ferry declarators. And let's go ahead and actually install it to begin with. So cd dot dot slash, and let's go ahead and pip install API Ferry. Now we need to initialize it within our application. So let's go over to, let's cd back into our project. Let's go over to the core initialization file. Uh, so at the top, we need to from API Ferry, from API Ferry, let's go ahead and import API Ferry. Okay. I keep forgetting to not press save. So that's now imported. So let's go ahead and initialize, initialize it, whatever that means, initialize it. There we go. Uh, API Ferry. Um, equals API Ferry, okay. And then let's go down to the extensions here and just make sure we add it there. So API Ferry uh, dot initialize app, app, there we go. With that done, let's go back into the infantry API folder and select your routes. So this is where we're going to then start utilizing it. So uh, from API Ferry, from API Ferry, let's go ahead and import uh, what we're gonna need here, response. Okay, so response. So now we're going to add an API declarator. So uh, this is gonna be the response. That's what we just brought in. And then we just need to pass in our schema. So first of all, actually, first thing we need to do, let's just specify our schema. So category uh, schema equals, that's our category schema. Now here we're gonna define the fact we're going to return multiple items, objects from the database. So we're gonna set many uh, equals true. So this just allows and ensures that we are handling multiple objects which might be a slightly different approach if we were just handling one item. So sometimes we might return only one object from a database. So we might handle that differently from when, we're, when we know that we're going to be always managing multiple objects from the database. So now we have that defined, we can then now utilize that in the response here. So we're just defining our schema. Right, so everything now should be set up for us to start thinking about building queries. So what we need now in our function is a query, which is returning data from the database. That's then going to be serialized within our schema and passed back to the client. 